two years. Supported me, gave me the retail hours, fed me, clothed me, had to pay my lunch fee, gave me my first car. I remember my first week to me.
At this time, we will have, we will continue the program with the use of the, the second lesson, which will be done by Adika and Chloe Clark, daughters. They will be reading for us Revelation chapter 21, verses 1 to 7. And then we will see the third of the lesson, which will be done by Queenie. There is another daughter, and that will be the uh, first for the first time. Look up right that was just saying, niece, to give the remembrance speech about the right for you see it? In by her first care, pay for her first apartment. Yes, and take care of her kids while she gone a foreign girl look like the man take her youth from her. She was a right for her. It's a good youth. Yes, and Sad and yeah, sad. the whole place full of sad, but you know, sometimes a local joke after going about dry fall, you know. But after that, the sad times, so because people all over the world were viewing New York, China, big up Joan Lima, big up Lady Debbie, yes, and um, Suki British, you don't know, Suki, the whole family, yes, and big up Lady Fire, what the rifle daughter now. This is right for that. Matter of fact, twin that is in my tree. Sad, you know, so they will find some seat for them. Yeah, just go around and sit down, man. Right, so look at that, that.
Father Devon and beautiful wife. It's a bigger father Devon just arrived. Yeah. I don't know right for best friend that. Yeah. I see the sadness my father Devon face and greet him and get great.
Can you hear me now? Yes. All right, all right. To bring us a word, a word of comfort. To bring us a word of hope. To bring us a word of joy. In this trying time, is Pastor Jason Miller from the Chapeltown District of Churches. But just before you come, we'll be blessed by a group from Mark Bay, Seventh-day Adventist Church, with a special. Then the next voice you'll hear will be that of Pastor Jason Miller.
God will take care of you through every time, through every challenging moment. Our God is able to take care of you. These times that we are the people come upon is not easy. These are tough times. These are challenging times. These are times when the presence of sin allows elements to fall upon us that breaks our hearts, that rob us of our peace. But we can be assured there is a God in heaven who will comfort the hearts of his children. I want to say thank you to the Bhakti group or part, a part of the choir that have presented that message in song to comfort the hearts of the bereaved. I also want to extend my own word of condolences because whatever affect the community, whatever affect the individuals within the community affects the church. And the church is a praying church which will ask God's special blessing and care upon his children. In fact, have I contemplate speaking to you at this Thanksgiving service. I thought of a message that would speak to your hearts and bring comfort. And I've topic the sermon where to find God. But before I ask you to turn your eyes upon Jesus, I want to express a special word of thank you to my friend and colleague, Pastor Conrad Graham, the host pastor of the Badby District of Churches here. I want you to know that we have been good friends. And whatever pain he goes through within his district, I feel the pain too. In fact, there are members of the family that are members of this church. And they need pastoral care. And our prayers are with you. Our prayers continue to ascend to heaven the strength from God to take you through these rough times. Will you turn your eyes upon Jesus with me? Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look for from the things of earth. We'll go strangely there. In the light of his glory and grace. O gracious, loving, everlasting Father, we are children gathered within your house of praise under unwholesome circumstances. Because it was not your will that man should face such consequences. But as a result of sin in the planet, sin in the land, we are here dealing with this situation. And we ask, O oh divine Heavenly Father, 
that you will send your mighty loving Holy Spirit to come and abide with us. We ask this afternoon that you will move from the pulpit to the pews. We ask of oh God that you will speak a word to the bereaved family. You will comfort their hearts. You will lead them to understand that amidst the troubles of this life there is still a God who is in charge. I ask, oh God, that you will move upon the minds of your children and help them to understand, oh God, that one day is coming when this cold and sad thing called death will die. And I ask, oh God, that you will touch thou, my feeble, mortal clay, clay and you will share this message. You will bring a blessing to each heart that listens. You will bring a message. We ask in Jesus' wonderful and holy name. Amen. Amen. Where to find God? In the 63rd division of the psalm, David exclaimed, David said, oh God. And then he made an affirmation. He said, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul longs for you. My soul thirsts for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. David was in the wilderness of Harrah, the wilderness of Julia, under an unwholesome circumstances. If you can fix me a little with the sound, I would be a bit of a grateful. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We serve my God. We serve an everlasting Father. I was saying that David was in an uncertain circumstance and he was crying out to God for mercy. He was seeking the face of the living God. He saw the thirst of God for the light, the time of joy. When the land is passed from the heat of the rays of the sun that beats upon it without rainfall. So he said, my soul longs for you. My soul thirsts for you in a dry and thirsty land. To see your power and your glory. Maybe there were friends around but they could not bring He could only find that one place and that's in the sanctuary of the living God. So in verse 2 you hear David crying out, so I looked for you in the sanctuary. I looked for you in the sanctuary. Even though he was there in the wilderness of Judea, David was still turning his mind to God's sanctuary in Jerusalem. He was going back into himself to find some force that was spoken of God's comfort, of God's deliverance, of God's mercy in his time of trouble. That would bring him joy. That would take away the despair and sadness you see, beloved friend, he learned in Exodus 25 and verse 8 that God said to Moses, Give me a sanctuary that I may dwell among my people. Where can God be found? In the sanctuary, the Bible says, the Bible says, Build me that 
sanctuary. I want to do well with my children to help them deal with their mysteries, to help them deal with their perplexities and sorrows. I can share the show invite. I can share the invite. Yeah. And please remember, leave a friend but request. David, yes, and, and like, look, like the page itself. If I give the page a like, yeah, LL07. Because he knows about www.trillionyearrecord.com. With him, once he sees his face. You see the number? Um, for a book of promotion, marketing, and management, contact Trillion Records. Yeah, for a book of LL07. You can call 77 34594. That's 187. Six seven seven three four five three four. If you want to book a little wish first, get you up for a uh, for a movie or to host even contact trillion in the world. From England to run on its own natural laws and have no connection with the earth.
can understand why you are so wonderful and nice and yet you are going through some kind of troubles. You just can't help yourself. You can't escape. David was struggling with this issue. David was struggling to the point that he almost left the church. He almost packed up, walked out of church, and leave the church to function on his own. Hello, somebody. David says, If I had said, I will speak thus. General Lena British. Behold, yeah, the first British. I would have been untrue yeah. to the generation of your children. It's still full of fashion and stuff. When I thought how to understand this, it was too painful for me. He couldn't understand it. He couldn't fathom. He couldn't run out of the legend, legendary Lena British. Yeah, right. He was struggling. And many of you in the hearing of my voice is struggling. You can't understand why people are suffering. You can't understand why your heart is 